I'm not one of those people that use all those, like, I'm visually challenged, I'm not politically correct. So you can't say you're blind. Retinitis pigmentosa stole Barbara Campbell's eyesight 20 years ago. But a new device called the Argus 2 is giving her back a little bit of the experience of what it's like to see. Well, right now I can detect like the trees on the side here. And it's only black and white, it's not color. So I don't see any colors at all, just black and white. And it usually helps most with um, good contrast. The Argus 2 is an artificial retina that's just received approval by the Food and Drug Administration, becoming essentially the first federally approved treatment for blindness. While it can't help everyone, it can help people like Barbara, whose eyes have lost their ability to absorb and process light. It's so exciting. The more I use the device, the Argus 2, um, it, I see more and more and more. In the beginning, I see so much more now than when I first began to use it. So far, about 50 people have tested the Argus II, both in the United States and in Europe. The artificial retina is actually a sheet of electrodes implanted into Barbara's eye. A tiny camera inside of her glasses captures what appears before her and translates that captured image into pixels. The box at her hip sends those pixels back to the electrodes and eventually the image ends up as flashes of light in her brain. Barbara still needs her cane, but the device helps her find her bus stop or follow the lines of a crosswalk. A few years ago, I was at an event and, um, and I was not sitting close. I was at Lincoln Center and Diana Ross was performing and she came out and boy, I could see her. She was all sparkly and I could see her using, using the Argus too. I had no problem seeing Diana Ross that far away on the stage. It was really cool. The device doesn't provide full vision. What Barbara sees are essentially outlines and boundaries. Barbara didn't actually see Diana Ross in her full glory, but she saw a sort of Diana Ross pattern. Initially, I was the, my goal was to see colors again, but I understand now that that's very difficult because not everybody even not everybody sees colors the same way. With this initial FDA approval, about 15,000 Americans are eligible for the implant. But the company is developing the technology for other types of eye diseases, and scientists say they are hopeful that this is only the first step in finding ways to help the blind see. And I just think of any other kind of device, how it originally started and how it became more popular and commercially available and how um, people were able to make improvements on it. So it's only going to get better. Thank you.